Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode we're going to be creating and making some photo mosaics. So without further ado, let's follow me and I'll show you what it's all about. So if we look down here, it says um, walk this way and I've created a little path with a golden, uh, golden uh, platform to start with. And we're going to walk along this path and uh, hopefully reveal to you the, the magic of, the, of a photo mosaic, what it looks like in world if you like. I'm just going to be careful down here. Right, here we go. So walk down this path. And photo mosaics are really good. They're really powerful ways of creating impact uh, and energy and kind of uh, and just making something very special. So we've used them for people's birthdays, uh, but you could also use them for all sorts of different things. And I'll be covering a range of different topics and ideas that you could use photo mosaics in, in the next coming episodes. So there's a picture of me and my son. I'm the bigger one on the right hand side. There you go. So there you go. That's the, that's what a photo mosaic looks like. They are really impressive. They're really amazing. I've sometimes used them in adventure maps and they kind of, uh, let's fly up, and they kind of, uh, they indicate the end result. Or for a birthday map for a young person, uh, I've created um, kind of pictures of them and there's a big cake at the bottom as well and they can kind of eat that as well. They are really, really amazing and uh, they're kind of uniquely produced. There's a couple of ways of doing it. Obviously, we, we've, we've used uh, MC Edit uh, and I've also used a little product called SpriteCraft as well. And I'll give you descriptions of both of those things in the links below. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see how it's all made. So if we go really close up, you can actually see that uh, these are made up of blocks. A variety of different blocks from clay to wool to stone even uh, to iron blocks to all the different kind of blocks that you could imagine and they make a pretty impressive photo mosaic I might have to say it's pretty good isn't it so it's, it's getting night time let's just change it back to day uh, time set date there we go and you can kind of see how that looks and I'll show you how I did this just now so there's a picture of me and Django, uh, and it's just a very quick Instagram uh, image of me and him uh, just sort of mucking about, uh, doing a, a bit of a selfie. Uh, so really kind of a nice uh, little kind of image of us. Uh, something I'd like to share and, and maybe surprise him uh, using a Minecraft map so he can kind of walk along the path and just at the end go, oh wow, it's, it's me and you, <laughs> how amazing. So we're going to be using something called SpriteCraft, and here's SpriteCraft, this is what it kind of looks like. Uh, and I've, uh, It can be used on a Mac or in Windows. Currently I'm using it in Windows because I haven't got, uh, I need, it needs Java 7 to run, uh, the, the latest version of SpriteCraft. And uh, I haven't got Java 7 running on my Mac because uh, I, I can't get Chrome to run at the same time. All sorts of nonsense, but there you go. So this is what SpriteCraft looks like. Uh, you can donate to it, so there's got a donate button, and you can kind of you can pay whatever you like for it, or there's a free version as well. I would just actually just put a couple of pence, uh, a couple of quid in the donation box. It goes to a really good charity, and uh, and there you go. You've got a lovely bit of software that you can use again and again. I will be showing you different ways of actually creating uh, kind of sprites and other bits and pieces within Minecraft. There are some filters that you can actually use with MC Edit, but I'm going to do them in a different uh, in a different episode, so you can see them at a different time. So this is what it looks like when it first starts. It's got a kind of sprite craft made up. You can do things like you can browse different logos. You've got options here. Uh, and the options are kind of, well, what kind of blocks do we have? Well, we can have the common blocks, all of them. We can have rare. We can, you know, have all the wood, all the clay, all the unusual, and all the special. So you can click them. You can get rid of TNT, for example, if you don't really want people to kind of have TNT within the world especially if you don't want it to blow up the stuff. But there you go, it has all the stuff. We can have a side view or we can have top views as well. It really depends on how you want to produce it. And, uh, and then we can press done, whereas it says close. Okay, there we go. Then we can have the maximum width or no maximum width. Uh, so we can just decide how many blocks wide or high it is. And then we need to browse for our image. So I'm just going to browse on the end here. And I think it's over at the end here. This is the one. We'll open that up. There's a picture of us. 150 by 150 and we create the Minecraft blueprint. So there we go, we can create it and it's created it like that. Now we can either save that as an image and it actually saves it like this. So you can actually use that within a piece of print or maybe you can even have birthday cards or kind of stuff like that. Or maybe you kind of want to make a, a poster, a Minecraft poster and you want a bit of a kind of photo mosaic on the poster as well. Well that this is a nice way of doing that too. So you can save the image and it also describes all the kind of different materials down the bottom that has been used. We can also save it as a schematic, and that is what we really want to do if we want to get it into a world. So we save it as a schematic, 
uh, and we call it whatever we can't, you know, father and father and son. Okay. Further and son, father and son. And we press save like that. We're going to open up MC Edit and open up the world that we want to import it into. So this is the world that we're in. Uh, and I'm right clicking to move myself around the plane uh, and then press my WASD keys to move around and look around this area. So this is the world that we've already got in here and as you can see that's what it looks like. Now there's lots of future blocks in here and they look pink so if I go over them you can kind of see it says future block 159.11.157 so these are different kind of uh, versions of the block and MC Edit doesn't actually know what they are yet because uh, Minecraft is this is the kind of the latest version of Minecraft, uh, and MCD it's running a little bit behind, but it's uh, it still doesn't it mean it's non-functional. MCD is very very functional indeed, uh, and can actually uh, you know produce all sorts of different effects. But all it all it requires is to know what these blocks are, and it just gives it a, a value of their own. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to import, uh, and we want to make sure that our schematic was put into our MC edit is schematics folder wherever wherever we want to put it and let me just go scroll down and we find where that uh, father and son was father and son there it is and open it up and there it is so we can kind of click it into place and we can then use rotate to ro roll it round we can roll it so we can actually have it flat. So you might be you even have to let's nudge it up so we can actually see what it, you can actually have it as a kind of a flat map like that, uh, and that's that gives us some other ideas about how we can actually use these uh, for educational purposes later on. Um, we can flip it so it flips all the way around. We can even mirror it as well. There we go. So it flips around like that. Uh, and then when you're ready, you just press import. I'm going to press escape because I've already imported it into the map over here. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Make sure you then save the map uh, and then quit. And then you can go back into Minecraft and you can double click on your game. And there it all is again. Perfect. So that's how uh, you get um, photo mosaics into Minecraft. Uh, and Spritecraft, I think, is one of the best ways of doing it. it it's, uh, you know, there are other filters and stuff like that within MC Edit, as, as I've mentioned, uh, and I'll be covering them in uh, in the next few episodes because we're going to be looking at doing this, but we're going to be creating interactive maps uh, and a few other ideas that we can that we can utilize using this kind of photo mosaic method. So do stay tuned and thank you very much for watching and listening and do remember do subscribe uh, and do like it does help the channel and it helps me quite a lot too. So until next time thank you and goodbye.